Hey, so if you've got a Yamaha bike with linked brakes and ABS, like a uh, FJR 1300 or a Super Tenere, when you're bleeding the brakes, you may need to cycle the ABS in order to kind of get all the brake fluid out of the ABS pump and make sure you're doing a thorough job. One of the ways that people say to do it is to just take the bike on a gravel road and try and cycle ABS a few times, but the other way is to use the plug under the seat right here. So in the factory service manual, Yamaha says to use a jumper uh, to plug into this under seat plug so that you can cycle the ABS pump. However, what I've found is you can make your own like this and this is something I just made with a spare piece of wire and some of these terminal clamps here. These are 14 to 16 gauge female disconnects, but I mean, I think any size would work. Honestly, I just took them out of the plastic casing here. I just dremeled that off, crimped them onto the wire, and then cut off one of the tabs here, just so that only one of these are open here. And that way I can just plug it straight into the connector uh, and not have to worry about, you know, trying to get the right plug or damaging anything. So this has already worked and I will show you how that works today. So first you're gonna wanna remove the little blank plug here. And you're gonna wanna jump the black and the blue wires together right here. Uh, might be a little hard to see, but it's basically the top two pins when you look at the plug. Let me grab a light real quick. So hopefully that helps you. You can see that there's this oblong shape. This is the clip up here and you're trying to jump the top two pins. So what you're gonna do is take this jumper that you made and just connect those top two pins. So you should just be able to slide them right on like that. And that's it. You may need to kind of use some pliers or something and just uh, squish the terminal ends down a little bit just so that they fit over the stock spade connectors. You don't want it to be a super tight fit, but you don't want it to fall out either. So you can see that's a pretty nice fit in there. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to turn the bike on uh, into the ignition. And before you do this, actually make sure that your kickstand is down and the bike is in first gear because we will be using the starter, but we don't wanna start the bike, obviously. So turn it on and your ABS light, as you can see, should be flashing. And then next up, you're gonna press and hold the front brake and the rear brake pedal at the same time and then hold the start button down for four seconds and then let go. And you should hear the pump run. And that's it. So you could hear it's pretty noisy and you can actually feel the pump engaging kind of under your fingers and under your foot. And once that's done by itself, you can go ahead and turn everything back off. Then just unplug the jumper and you're basically done.